Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to restore backup and how to transfer data on Vivo V60 Lite. Okay, uh, first I'll show you how you can transfer the data from your old device into your Vivo and then I'll show you how to restore the backup from a Google One. So, uh, let's begin with the first method. You can see that we are doing a setup process. Uh, select your language and click on start. Select your location and then also click on next. Select that you agree. Click on next. And we have the first option that we are interested in. Setup using another device. Uh, now, uh, select your device type of your previous device, of course. Uh, in my case, it's Android, so I'll select that. And now we need to scan this QR code using our previous device. So I need to open up the camera, then the scanner, and now scan this code. Okay, tap shutter button to confirm. We need to also turn on the Bluetooth, in my case. Okay, now let's wait a little, because both devices need to connect to each other. Okay, now I need to verify on my previous device by simply uh, drawing my lock screen. Okay, you can see that the Vivo is currently automatically mm, connecting to the Wi-Fi. Okay, getting the phone ready, so we need to wait a little bit. Okay, now you can select your unlock method. Uh, if you want to can skip it, it's always available later in the settings. Okay, now copy up some data, click on next. Okay, it needs to scan for the data, so we need to wait a little bit. Okay, and now from that list we can select what things we want to copy. Uh, we can copy apps, messages, call history, photos and videos, and also the device settings. When it comes to the Google Calendar, contacts, photos and Gmail, those things are synced automatically. Uh, okay, above you can also see the estimated time, how long is it going to take. In my case, if I select everything, it will be around 4 minutes. Uh, but in my case, I want to copy everything except the apps, so I'll unselect them. If you have selected everything, simply click on copy. Okay, and now we have the Google services. Simply scroll down and click on accept. Now, the backup services, they're really useful, so I always recommend uh, to turn them on. Now, we need to select our default browser and search engine. Click on next. In my case, I always pick Google Chrome and Google as my search engine. Click on set as default. And now we have a question, do we want to continue the setup or leave and get a reminder? Let's do it right now. So I'll click on continue. And now we have the feature uh, to let contacts nearby find and share with us. It's up to you, I'll agree. Okay, now we have the Gemini, uh, which is an AI assistant, uh, and we can enable the um, feature which, which will allow us to uh, remotely launch the Gemini by simply saying, hey Google. So click on turn on. It's up to you, I mean, I'll turn it on. Uh, in here, if you want, you can add another email account, change how text displays, review additional apps, and add another fingerprint. And in my case, I don't want any of those things, so I'll click on no thanks. We can see that we are nearly done when it comes to uh, transferring. Copying is done. We can see it on both devices. So let's click on done on the Vivo. And on our old device, we can click on close. We won't be needing that phone anymore. Mm, now, uh, click on next. You can agree to uh, send usage and di diagnostic data. It's up to you, I'll agree. In here, we can click on next. Uh, select your navigation method, uh, three button or gesture navigation. Uh, I'll stick to three buttons, then click on next. Click on get started. 
Okay, and now we are ready to use our device. That was the first method, how you can transfer data from the previous device into your brand new Vivo. Uh, and now I'll show you how to restore the backup from Google One. Okay, and now the second method. We are also doing the setup process. Uh, click on start, select your location, click on next, select that you agree, then click on next. And now uh, when we have possibility to use uh, other device for the setup, we need to skip. Now we need to manually connect to the Wi-Fi also. So uh, wait until you see your uh, network. Uh, now I need to connect to it. Okay. All right, getting the phone ready. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, and now we have the most important part. Uh, we have possibility to sign in into Google account and we need to sign in into the same Google account on which we made that backup before. Because if you logged in into wrong account, you won't be able to restore your backup. So now mm, I'll type my mail. Okay, now I have logged in, uh, click on next, click on agree. Now let's wait a little bit. Okay, and now we can select an unlock method. Uh, it's up to you, do you want to do it right now? In my case, I'll skip it. It's always available later in the settings. Okay, now click on next. And now we can choose a backup that we would like to restore. In my case, I want that one. Okay, when it comes to Google Photos, Gmail Calendar and Drive, those things are synced automatically. Uh, but down below we have a list of things that we want uh, that we can restore. In my case, I want everything except apps, so I'll unselect them. Uh, once you have selected everything, click on Restore. Okay, restoring your data. Uh, now we have Google Services. Simply scroll down and click on Accept. Now we have backup services that are really useful. I always highly recommend turning them on. I always do it when I'm set up a phone. Now we need to select default uh, browser and search engine. I always pick Chrome and Google as my search engine. Now we can continue the setup or leave and get a reminder. I'll continue. And now we have a feature that will let contacts nearby find and share with us. It's up to you. Do you want to use it or not? Uh, I'll agree. Okay, click on continue. And now we have the Gemini, which is an uh, assistant. Uh, and we can enable um, another possibility to launch it. We can say, hey, Google, and it will be automatically uh, launched. It's up to you. Do you want it or not? I'll turn it on. Okay, uh, in here, if you want to can add another email account, change how the text displays, add fingerprint or review additional apps. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, but for example, when it comes to the fingerprint, you can always add it later in the settings. So in my case, I will click on no thanks. Okay, getting the phone ready. So we need to wait a little bit. Okay, and now we'll click on next. Mm, we can agree to send usage and diagnostic data. Now we have the service uh, recommendations. Click on next. Select navigation method, three button navigation or gestures. Uh, it's up to you. Also, when it comes to the three buttons, you can uh, change the order of those keys. You have two modes. I'll stick to the first option. Click on next. Click on get started. Okay, and now we are ready to use our device. Okay, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.